So the wait is over. After two years, CSNET is finally being conducted. We are all anxious. So what are the last minute tips before going in to the CSNET examination? We are all going to discuss about the five important tips in this video. So stay tuned and watch it completely. So tip number one, the very first thing that I want to tell all of you is that be safe. Because right now, although we are seeing the cases of COVID-19 is decreasing, basically the people are testing less. So there is a chance that you can contract infection. Many people will, but you need to get rid of this thinking and think of the examination. So stay safe, follow the COVID-19 protocols and also maintain distance. And basically this is going to help you in different way because so I keep your profile low during the exam time. That means basically I, I've seen students go and they cheat chat and all do all these things at the very beginning of the examination. I believe it's not that important. Uh, whatever thing you learned, you prepared, you have it with you, you just go there, sit tight and be really gentle and you know if possible listen to the music while traveling for the exam center. So that is tip number one, be safe from COVID-19 situation. Once that is done, then we come to the actual problems. Okay, so now the tip number two during the exam, okay, right now this is the last moment of exam situation. So what you should do this night, what you should do tomorrow morning on the exam morning, basically many people need to travel. So the morning is not the time in your hand and this is the last moment that tonight and uh, basically you cannot read and prepare something in one night, right? You have this entire two years for the preparation. So the best thing for this night is that you just go through some papers, previous year's papers of CSANET and try to assess uh, the number of questions that they ask from different units and whether you have prepared those units or not. For example, you prepared unit 1, 8, 10 more compared to other units. So go through the question types that are asked in the units that you have prepared well in that way and also try to find out the number of questions that they ask from these units and the, the region where they ask these questions because while in the exam hall you must attain more questions from the units that you prepared more right so that's what you should do at the last moment preparation now the tip number three the tip number three is that don't ask like don't think like uh, what you left okay think about what you prepared okay so if you leave three units if you leave four units, that's fine. That's okay. There are total 13 units. And I've known people uh, who qualified NET with only preparing seven or eight units with a very good economy rate uh, from those seven or eight units. They have answered every single question correctly to get the uh, to get the fellowship. So it's not likely that if you leave with uh, the four or five different units, you are not going to qualify. Don't think like that. Don't be negative at the last moment of your preparation. Don't be negative. Tip number four now. Tip number four is that uh, the time is past. Okay. So once you know after 8 or 9 p.m. Don't uh, read anything else. If the time is gone, you have plenty of time. And after the exam, if you think the exam is not going to work for you, then you can join coaching or you can start preparation, resume preparation again. But for now, don't panic. Don't hit the panic button because it's not going to help you. You need a good night's sleep. Okay. So have a good night's sleep. Uh, have eight hours of sleep. And this is really important, you know, having a good night's sleep before uh, a good major exam, it helps a lot. And apart from that, right now, stop everything and start listening to music or watch something which is of a gentle time space, not like a thriller series or anything like that in the web, but watch something which is funny, which uh, tickles your bone and also which you like so that you get a good night's warm sleep. Okay, that is very, very important. This is related to psychological idea, but still it helps a lot while you appear for the exam. Now the last and fifth and final tip is during the exam. Uh, so the exam situation, what you need to keep in mind is that you know which topics you prepared well, you know which topics you haven't prepared well. So this is a CBT mode exam, computerized mode exam. So the questions may be shuffled, right? So you may see one question from unit one and the next question may be from unit three. The third question may be from unit five. So they can shuffle. Many students believe like I prepared unit one, but I got only two, three questions because it's because it's never like two, three questions. You need one. They ask seven, eight questions in part C I'm talking about, but it feels like it because they shuffle the question. So it's very important that you have this idea of judging the questions unit by reading the question. And this is something build up when you practice questions, right? This is what we do in our coaching. Also, we teach students how to understand which question is from which unit by reading the question. Okay. Not complete reading, but a blink of the questions will help you and uh, should be sufficient to give you the idea about the unit of the question. So once you find the units of the question, you know that this is, uh, let's say you haven't prepared unit uh, five 
or you haven't prepared unit 6. So any question from unit 5 and 6, if you haven't prepared, you can simply just see the question and leave it and go to the next question. Because if you continue to work with a question you don't know about, it will kill your time. Many a time it happens that students used to take up a, a question as a challenge, although they haven't prepared that unit. And they stick with this question for 4-5 minutes. And you know, 4-5 minutes for the net without any answer, without any proper uh, response, is killing five minutes is a lot of time for CS and exam because time management will be difficult at the end so this is very very important that you must be able to judge a questions unit by reading the question but check the question and then leave it or take it and continue and move forward and also during the exam hall do not judge yourself until the final bell rings okay so it happens that you know you are attending question first 10 questions you attend none of them uh, can't be answered so you cannot answer any of the question it is a possibility but this is also a possibility that the upcoming eight questions consecutively you can answer so be positive don't be negative don't be panicked in a situation like that okay because you have plenty of questions remember always in part c there will be 25 questions to be answered out of 75 in part b 35 questions to be answered out of 50 and part a 15 questions to be answered out of 20. So basically what I'm talking about in part C, which is most important uh, of all, for every single question, you have three questions to choose from. One out of three. And that is very, very important. So one out of three questions, if you can attain and answer correctly, that will be okay. That will be good enough. If you answer them correctly, you get a good score, you get a good marks. And the last thing that I want to mention before concluding this video is that many people have asked me regarding what can be the tentative cutoff and all we can only tell that after seeing the question paper and after getting the data about how many students appeared for the exam but what i can say is that you need to score 120 above you need to have a target of 120 above to get a general category GRF. That's what I feel, that's what I believe. I don't think it's going to be huge cutoff, although many people are, are saying that a oh, huge amount of students are appearing for it. Maybe, but I don't think the cutoff will be that, that big enough. I think 120 for a general category will suffice, but again, I may be wrong. I need to see the question paper. I need to see the number of students to comment on that. So that's all about the last minute preparation tips for CS and examination. All the very best everyone. and. Let's rock. Thank you. Bye.